The Permian extinction killed 96% of all life on Earth in less than 20,000 years, but no known natural process can cause destruction that fast or complete. We assume we're Earth's first intelligent species, but what if we're wrong? What if advanced civilizations rose and fell millions of years before humans existed, leaving only subtle traces in rocks and ice? We're about to explore carbon signatures that don't match natural cycles. Extinction patterns too coordinated for chance and geological evidence that suggests intelligence may have emerged before. We begin in the heart of Africa beneath tons of rock and two billion years of silence. Scientists found something that should not exist. Natural uranium ore had somehow arranged itself into perfect nuclear reactors, complete with control mechanisms that prevented meltdowns and waste disposal systems that contained radiation for millennia. These weren't crude experiments, they were sophisticated power plants that operated flawlessly long before the first fish grew legs. The Oklo uranium deposits in Gabon reveal reactor cores where uranium-235 concentrated itself into critical masses, then moderated its own reactions using groundwater as a coolant. Think of it like a campfire that automatically adjusts its own fuel supply and never burns out of control. But campfires don't require advanced physics and engineering knowledge that humanity only mastered 50 years ago. Each reactor produced about 100 kilowatts of power and ran for hundreds of thousands of years before shutting down safely. What makes this discovery truly unsettling is the precision. Natural uranium ore contains less than 1% of the fissile uranium-235 needed for sustained nuclear reactions. But at Oklo, concentrations reach the exact 3% threshold required for criticality. The probability of this happening randomly across multiple sites is mathematically negligible. 66 million years ago, a space rock ended the dinosaur age in minutes. But what if some dinosaurs had already built cities, developed agriculture, and started manipulating their environment before the asteroid hit? Consider the enormous advantages dinosaurs had over early mammals. Triceratops possessed brains larger than modern elephants and lived in complex social groups. Velociraptors demonstrated sophisticated pack hunting strategies that required communication and planning. The fossil record shows dinosaurs dominated Earth for over 160 million years, that's 800 times longer than modern humans have existed. Some built elaborate nests, others traveled thousands of miles in coordinated migrations. But finding proof of dinosaur cities poses nearly impossible challenges. Fossilization requires very specific conditions that preserve only tiny fractions of ancient life. The Appalachian Mountains were once taller than the Himalayas, but hundreds of millions of years of erosion have worn them down to gentle hills. If an entire technological civilization vanished from Earth's surface, what traces would actually survive after 100 million years? Large-scale mining operations create distinctive geological features called anthropogenic deposits. Industrial agriculture might leave the most durable fingerprints. Intensive farming depletes soil of specific nutrients while adding others through fertilizers. These chemical changes get incorporated into sedimentary rocks as soil layers turn to stone over millions of years. Urban heat islands represent another potential marker. Large cities raise local temperatures by several degrees compared to surrounding countryside. This warming affects local weather patterns, plant growth, and seasonal cycles in ways that influence sediment deposition. Satellite archaeology demonstrates how subtle traces become visible with the right tools. Buried Roman roads show up in aerial photographs because they create slight changes in soil chemistry that affect plant growth. Archaeological sites reveal themselves through tiny variations in ground temperature detected by thermal imaging. Deep in Antarctic ice cores, scientists found carbon isotope ratios that tell impossible stories. The numbers don't match any known natural process, yet they appear consistently across multiple drilling sites and span thousands of years. Carbon exists in two stable forms that act like geological fingerprints. Carbon-12 makes up most natural carbon while carbon-13 appears in smaller but measurable amounts. Different processes create distinctive ratios between these isotopes, but the mysterious signatures don't match either category. They show carbon isotope ratios consistent with massive fossil fuel burning, occurring at irregular intervals throughout the past several hundred thousand years. Volcanic activity can inject large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, but volcanic carbon has distinctly different isotope ratios that don't match the mysterious signatures. Ice cores from Greenland show the same anomalous carbon signatures at the same times as cores from Antarctica. Independent confirmation comes from marine sediment cores extracted from ocean floors around the world. 
Hidden in rocks across six continents, uranium isotopes tell a story that contradicts everything we know about natural radioactive decay. These atomic fingerprints appear in formations spanning millions of years, showing enrichment patterns that require sophisticated separation technology. Natural uranium contains 99.3% uranium-238 and less than 1% uranium-235. This ratio remains constant across the solar system because both isotopes decay at predictable rates that haven't changed in billions of years. But samples from multiple mining sites contain uranium-235 concentrations that exceed theoretical limits. Some rocks show enrichment levels reaching 15 to 20 percent ratios that could only result from artificial isotope separation using gas centrifuges or electromagnetic methods. The enriched samples don't cluster around known nuclear facilities or weapons testing sites. They appear in ancient rock formations, prehistoric riverbeds and geological layers that predate human civilization by millions of years. The geographical distribution spans enormous distances and diverse geological settings. Enriched uranium signatures appear in Canadian shield formations, Australian desert deposits, Siberian permafrost, and African crater sites. Independent laboratories have confirmed these results using different analytical techniques, mass spectrometry, neutron activation analysis, and gamma-ray spectroscopy all produce consistent readings. The fossil record reveals five major mass extinctions that wiped out most life on Earth, but closer examination shows some happened impossibly fast. The end Permian extinction 250 million years ago eliminated 96% of marine species and 70% of land animals. Recent high-precision dating reveals the extinction occurred in less than 20,000 years, possibly as quickly as a few thousand years. 20,000 years sounds like a long time but represents an eye blink in geological terms. Deep ocean species died first, followed by shallow marine life, then terrestrial ecosystems. The end Cretaceous extinction 66 million years ago shows similar anomalies. The asteroid that killed the dinosaurs certainly had enough energy to trigger global environmental collapse, but timing evidence suggests major ecosystem disruptions began before the impact. Dinosaur diversity was already declining. The end Triassic extinction 200 million years ago eliminated 76% of marine species. Ocean chemistry data shows rapid acidification that killed marine organisms with calcium carbonate shells within thousands rather than millions of years. Natural carbon dioxide increases from volcanic activity typically take much longer to acidify ocean water significantly. The Drake equation predicts millions of intelligent civilizations should exist in our galaxy alone. Yet after 70 years of searching, we've detected nothing but cosmic static. Our galaxy contains roughly 400 billion stars with recent discoveries showing that most stars have planetary systems. This absence of alien signals led to the Great Filter Hypothesis. It suggests something destroys nearly all intelligent life before it can spread beyond its home planet. But the electromagnetic spectrum remains eerily quiet. Nuclear warfare, ecological collapse, artificial intelligence disasters, or other technological catastrophes, might represent nearly insurmountable challenges for developing species. Current human activities show potentially fatal patterns. Climate change threatens global agricultural systems. The timing of humanity's emergence adds urgency to these considerations. We developed agriculture, writing, and industrial technology within the past few thousand years after millions of years of hunter-gatherer existence. If the great filter lies ahead of us rather than behind us, Humanity faces challenges that have defeated countless previous civilizations. Four billion years ago, Mars had flowing rivers, vast oceans, and an atmosphere thick enough to support liquid water on its surface for millions of years. Recent discoveries reveal this ancient Mars might have been more hospitable to life than early Earth. The planet's smaller size meant lower gravity that would have made flight easier for any evolving creatures. The planet's distance from the sun provided protection from solar flares and radiation that bombarded inner planets. Spectroscopic analysis reveals clay minerals that only form in the presence of liquid water over extended periods. These clay deposits contain complex organic molecules and chemical signatures consistent with biological processes. Some formations show layered structures similar to stromatolites on Earth, which represent some of our planet's earliest evidence of microbial life. If these signatures represent natural processes we don't understand, they reveal something unprecedented about Earth's climate system. If they represent something else entirely, 
we're looking at evidence of industrial scale activities occurring long before humans existed. Either possibility demands a complete re-examination of what we think we know about Earth's history.